Hey y'all, today we are making some pumpkin oatmeal cookies. So to get started, we're gonna need to, look, take your Shrek and Donkey plate, just pretend y'all didn't see that. We're gonna put a paper towel, or a couple of paper towels down on a plate, and we're going to put our pumpkin puree on there because pumpkin puree contains a lot of water and we don't need all that extra liquid in these cookies so what you're going to do is take one cup of the pumpkin puree and that's about half of that can and then we're going to spread it out on this paper towel or on these paper towels and we're going to let that just kind of hang out while we get everything else ready so we can get some of that liquid to come out of that pumpkin puree okay so just dump it on your paper towel and then i just took a little rubber spatula take a spoon take a knife whatever you've got it don't matter but do it with your hand if you want to but just kind of you know spread it out just a little bit it doesn't have to be like thin or anything but just kind of spread it out so you can get the most water that you can out of the puree okay <clears throat> so as you can see around the edges you can already see where that liquid is starting to come out so that just tells you right there this has a ton of liquid in it and we don't need all that extra so just stick that over to the side and we're going to let that hang out till we're ready for it okay now we're going to get our spices together now what you're going to need is two and a half teaspoons of cinnamon and then we're going to add in one teaspoon each of cloves and nutmeg and y'all if you don't have all of these seasonings but you can get your hands on some pumpkin spice that's pretty much what this is like the pumpkin pie spice so use that if that's what you have so then we're going to add in a half a teaspoon of ginger and i put a whole teaspoon so i had to go and dig a half a teaspoon out <laughs> so you know don't do that you know pay attention to your measurements so just mix that up and normally i would just dump the spices right into the um to my dry mixture but we need to reserve some of this in a minute so that's why i'm doing it in a separate little bowl okay so just put that over to the side we're gonna get back to that in a second all right so let's go ahead and get our dry ingredients together now you need some oats and i'm using the old-fashioned oats that's the big oats if all you have is instant or the quick oats it will probably work but it's just the bigger oats just give the cookie a better texture in my opinion in my humble opinion so we need two and a half cups of the oats so now we're going to add in one and two thirds cup of all-purpose flour and then we're going to add in one cup of some chopped pecans so just you know dump it over in there can you know this is already you already know this is gonna be good oatmeal pecans come on y'all so then we're gonna add in one teaspoon of baking soda and then a half of a teaspoon of salt now now we're gonna go ahead and add in that spice mix that we mixed up but we need to reserve one teaspoon of it for something else in a minute so go ahead and just dump that in there and then i dump the one teaspoon back into the little cup and set it over to the side because that's going to go in our icing y'all so then just mix your dry ingredients up real good you know just get them all good and mixed up now we're going to go ahead and take two sticks of softened butter and we're going to put those right into our mixing bowl now you don't have to have a stand mixer you can definitely do this with a hand mixer just make sure that you have a big bowl okay so then we're going to add in there one cup of sugar and three quarters of a cup of packed light or dark brown sugar either one is fine now ideally you would go ahead and cream your butter and your sugars together but i don't know where my brain was the day i was making these and i didn't do that i just started putting all the ingredients in there like i had good sense but it turned out fine but in a perfect world cream your butter and your sugar and then add everything else okay so what i added in there was one egg yolk just the yellow part and then i added about two teaspoons of vanilla now we're going to add in a couple of tablespoons two tablespoons of molasses and i made some um like copycat uh, oatmeal cream pies and it called for molasses also and y'all there is something about that molasses in this cookie in these cookies with this oatmeal oh my gosh it makes such a huge difference but anyway 
that's neither here nor there. I just thought I'd share that with y'all. Okay, so you can see a lot of liquid came out of that pumpkin puree. So once you get to this point, dump your pumpkin puree in there, and then we're going to let this mix until everything is creamed together. But like I said, we should have creamed the butter and sugars first and then added everything else. But alas, I did not. <laughs> so once that gets as good as mix is good mixed in as good as you can i cannot talk um then we're gonna start adding our dry ingredients and we're gonna let this mix just until everything is combined you don't want to over mix it okay once everything is mixed up you're gonna go ahead oh make sure y'all that you preheat your oven to 350. then we're gonna just scoop these out and i'm using my little cookie scooper and the reason i do is not because i'm fancy it's because it makes all my cookies the same size. So then they all cook evenly. You know what I'm saying? So if you have something you can measure out your little balls with, even if it's just a, like a tablespoon, like measuring spoon, then that's the best bet because then all your cookies come out even. But anyway, you roll them all into a ball and you get greasy, sticky hands. And then just press your cookies down just a little bit to give them a little help. They're not going to spread a whole lot. So we're just gonna help them along in the process, just a touch, okay? Then we are going to put these in the oven, 350, for about 12 minutes or so, okay? 12, 13 minutes, somewhere along in there. And then once your cookies, your, your cookies, y'all, once your cookies come out, look, they're nice and brown on the bottom, we're gonna put them on a wire rack and we're gonna let them just cool completely. Now we're gonna get our icing ready. So what you're gonna need for this is four tablespoons of softened butter and then two ounces of softened cream cheese. Okay, two ounces. But don't worry, I didn't waste this or put you know softened cream cheese back in my refrigerator or anything. I um, had other things I was cooking, so I did use that cream cheese, so don't worry about that. But what I was trying to point at just then is they have little measurements on the outside of the package that shows you kind of like on a butter package I never noticed that because I usually just use a whole block of cream cheese, but it does have a little measurement so you'll know exactly where to cut if you just need a little bit. All right, and then you're gonna add in a teaspoon of vanilla, and then we're gonna mix this. Now, I thought because this was such a small amount, I really didn't need to get a mixer out or anything, and so it took me a little work, and mine ended up a little bit lumpy, but it still tasted fine, but you know, I would maybe say get your mixer out for that and then sift your powdered sugar because I didn't realize how clumpy my powdered sugar was. But anyway, four tablespoons of butter, a teaspoon of vanilla, two ounces of cream cheese. Then you're going to do a cup and a quarter of your powdered sugar. Okay, and I'm adding in a little bit of milk, of course, because you got to have something to make it a little bit softer, right? So anywhere from two to four tablespoons, start out with two and see where that gets you. And then if you need to add a little bit more, do that. Just keep adding a little tiny bit, like a teaspoon or so at a time until it gets to the consistency that you need it. Cause it doesn't take much liquid at all, okay? Once you get it good and mixed up, go ahead and dump that one teaspoon of that spice mixture that we had left over. Or like I said, if you didn't have this mixture and you're using pumpkin pie spice, just put you a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice in there. Then we're gonna mix that up real, real good. And you can see I have little bitty clumps of powdered sugar, but y'all, I wasn't real, real concerned about it. So, you know, it, it is what it is. You know, we just kind of go with what we got around here. So then you're just gonna dip these down into the icing and that's it. This makes like 48 cookies, y'all. So it seems like a lot of ingredients cause it is, but it makes a ton of cookies. And I'll tell you the icing on the cookies, like it was fantastic. It was really, really good. But my daughter, she really, really liked these cookies just plain like with no icing at all. Now she liked the icing, but she said just the plain cookie was just delicious. So either way you want to do it, if you don't want to fool with the icing, then you don't have to. It is really good though. <laughs> so y'all look how yummy these cookies look. You can see all those little spices right down in the little icing on top. And these cookies are super, super soft and chewy. So you're going to love them. But that's all I've got for y'all today. I will catch y'all on the next one. Bye, y'all.